Well, here's something out of my league. It's freaking insane. I just imagine a human discovering his inner power and he becomes an angel, soaring into the heavens. And then he descends back into the earth in his new form, all angelic and stuff. So I'm gonna practice this lick for five days and see if I can get it. Day one. Ah, the good old beautiful Nexus Alto. I've paired it with the Boston Sack Shop neck and I absolutely love this combination. First, I warm up a little bit. Then, I start off just trying to learn the lick by ear. First, I try to do it by hearing it in real time. Then I give up because it's way too fast. I'm gonna save some time and just slow it down. Oh. After some time, I start to see the structure behind the lick. Over an F sharp seven sus chord, Baptiste descends down the F sharp dominant bebop scale. Then he plays the common shape one, two, three, five of an E major seven upper structure, embellishes its major seventh and walks down to the major third of F sharp dominant seven. From here, he arpeggiates a first inversion F sharp dominant seven chord and plays a four note chromatic enclosure, three steps above, one step below, targeting our root. Now we arpeggiate down a B major seven chord, first skipping the root of B till we get to the F sharp again, and then with an enclosure, we return to the B. But wait, this resolution is also the introduction of a pattern. We do the same enclosure for each note of the B major triad, one scale tone above, one chromatic note below. When it's finished on the fifth of this triad, this common bird phrase is utilized, connecting us to arpeggiating a B major nine chord. Now, as I'm learning the rest of this line, I got curious of Baptiste's altissimo G sharp fingering. Oh wow, all he's using for G sharp is literally just one and three. It's just gonna come out 100% of the time. All right, I learned a new finger today, yeah! I learned the rest of the lake. I stopped here because I have no idea what he's doing. Now, I spend some time just getting some reps in. I'm noticing my altissimo is really going to need some work and intonation. Oh god, my intonation's horrible with that. I also become aware that I have a technique deficiency in my fingers in connecting the D sharp into the altissimo B major 9 line. I also have deficiency in connecting my new Baptiste Altissimo G sharp into the front F sharp. the work for day one. Day two. All right, it's Labor Day now and not the holiday either. We're working. I still remember yesterday, my altissimo intonation sucked. So I start this practice session off with a good old tuning drum. Mm -hmm. 
Then I begin practicing the entire line just to gauge how's it feeling for the day. That altissimo part, as I predicted yesterday, is really giving me some issues. So I really hone in on that. This phrase alone is feeling easier now, but I'm still not understanding something about the airstream when I put it in context with the whole line. Yahoo! So I take a wider chunk and do a lot of reps, this time with purely my airstream being the focal point of my attention. After lots of random experimentation, I find something that works. If I divert my attention away from my diaphragm and into the space in my mouth and bring my tongue forward, the autismo seems to fix itself. The tongue position is still very delicate, so I'm not yet super consistent, but it's a lot better than yesterday. Day three. Today, I just participated in a master class from Baptiste Herbin himself. Because I've been practicing his lick, so, I felt compelled to ask him. Every time I transcribe your stuff, the speed usually gets me. So I'm, I'm wondering to match you know, your agility, should I push myself or should I just listen to my body and just let it get up there when it's ready? Or should I just force myself to have some messy... It's, kind of sport, sure. it's like a sport or uh, sometimes music. I mean, it's not sport, but for practicing, sometimes it's like, like some uh, challenge. It's it's nice so to have some challenge. You can try, but you have to, to hear your body too. I, I told you before, I have some friends, they can't play uh, more than 300 BPM. No problem. No problem. You have, for example, Jen Amons. I mean, he was not a very fast player and it, it, it's not wrong. It's okay. He can play things. Uh, it's impossible for me, for me to play. So the sound, the ideas, it's... We are all superheroes. Everybody has uh, skills different. This masterclass took place in Jazz Lesson Video's mentorship subscription program. We host a new world-class jazz artist every single Sunday to come give a masterclass to all of the members. This is an absurdly great deal. You can find the link to sign up in the description below. After that masterclass, I'm feeling pretty inspired. I try pushing myself as if it's a sport. I'm pushing the speed as much as my tongue can handle. I'm making surprisingly good progress. Then my wrist started hurting. I take a break, then I keep going. Day four. I got tendonitis now. Just kidding. For real though, wow, something magical must have happened in my sleep. This lick is feeling so much more natural. It's like the same feeling you get sticking to a ferling etude for a week. My tongue feels faster and easier to coordinate with my fingers. I'm also missing the altissimo parts less often. I'm convinced of my progress. Day.
day four, the final day. Somehow, it feels even better. At this point, my fingers feel immortal. The only thing that holds me back is my tongue speed, which has also gotten faster. The coordination is so much easier. However, knowing me, if I don't let it go for now, I will neglect everything else until I get it. I have to ask myself, what is more important? Getting this lick up to speed now or getting better at my own solos? <laughs> I'm happy with the progress I have already made. I spend the rest of my practice session incorporating bits and pieces into my improvisation in hopes that it will magically pop up into my own future solos. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you for 191,000 subscribers. Oh wow, 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 have a good day.